Two Broke Rednecks present. I thought meeting the person into a coma works. I thought Carter's last name was Peter Schmidt. Come on, Jerry. Everyone needs to try anal once. Here come Alice and Jerry and Eddie on their way to school. Actually, they're going for menage a trois. What does Alice see? Fight! 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 Come on, beat the shit out of him! She has Cowboy Dave in a chokehold and is going for the reverse suplex. The over who should ride the tricycles certainly spoils their play. But makes for good entertainment for others. Besides, it's dangerous. Someone's likely to be hurt. And just if we're lucky. All this time, they could be having fun on the tricycle. Yes, it's better to settle our disagreements quickly and fairly. And so Eddie offers to help settle this one. By tossing a coin and stabbing the loser in the face. Eddie, that they share the tricycle. Which works until Eddie leaves. That's certainly more fun than disputing over it, isn't it? But boring to watch. Thanks, Eddie. We call this way of settling a dispute a compromise. Which I refuse to do. That's when neither has his own way entirely. They both give in a little and share the bike. I thought it was a tricycle. And here's another way to compromise. Take turns driving the bike. Dude, it's a tricycle. As we play or work together, we have to compromise to settle some of our disputes. But did you know that there are different kinds of disputes and different ways to settle them? I prefer the ones with food disputes fight to the Let's death. for them as we go on to school. On the school grounds, Eddie and Jerry rush off to play ball. Secret lovers, that's and what they are. to play jump rope with the others. She doesn't try to break up the game. She just ties the other girls up with the rope. Compromises are one way to settle some disputes quickly and fairly and prevent other disputes parting, such as who shall drink first at the fountain. Hope you guys don't mind. I put my lips on the fountain and I'm contagious with measles. Meanwhile, Jerry and Eddie are playing work up baseball. Oh, Bill really hit that one. Good catch, Jerry. I'm sorry, Bill. But the rules state that Jerry now gets to rape you in the ass with the bat. And Bill changes places with Jerry in the field. So, so Bill, Bill got demoted to, to field Jerry's hand. But Jerry won't let him. Because Jerry's a selfish prick. Let's have a montage of 12-year-olds arguing over whose testes have dropped. How would you settle this dispute? Leave it to Judge Eddie well, to decide. To Jerry, so he can share it or not as he likes. Since Jerry's glove is just new, we can't blame Jerry now. We'll blame him later, later when he least the expects it. You, he'll probably agree to share the glove. The bat and ball, though, belong to the school. So Bill so can't we'll walk around all day with them shoved up his ass. Cool. So here's another way to settle some kinds of buttes. Obey the rules. I do what I want. There are rules about common property we share such as the ball and bat, and Miss Jenkins, and rules about personal property, such as Jerry's glove. His love glove. There are rules for playing games, and many other kinds of rules. But judges if can pick and choose which rules they wish to follow. Many disputes can be settled quickly and fairly. It's the rule that this part of the playground is for the little folks only. I want to go to this oh, school. It has leprechauns. We won't have many disputes. There's a rule that all bicycles should be put away in these racks. Except for one kid, because he has preferred parking. And when it's time to go into school, there are rules about which doors to use and which way to go inside. I'm going in from the back, because I don't want to be seen with these losers. Problems and disputes. There's another kind of dispute that can be settled in another way. That's like who this. does the math problem on the blackboard. It's the first boy with an erection. I did not give it math. Wait a minute, Alice. Are you sure you didn't leave your notebook in your desk? I'm sorry, you guys. I made a mistake. Sorry, won't cut it, you filthy bitch. What caused this dispute? She's a filthy it bitch. That's what. Alice didn't have all the facts. We need to find the facts. 
through torture. Alice's notebook was in her desk, and Harold has a new notebook just like hers. Because Harold's These a flaming closet queen. that are needed to settle the dispute. So let's remember to find the facts. And maintain a seething Sometimes hatred for those who falsely accuse us. For the facts. This way. Miss William, what's the bandersnatch? Oh, That's what? what you shave down there until there's just a there strip left. Any such thing. There isn't even any such word. There is too. It's in a poem I read. While doing dope. William, isn't there such a word? No, we're all more stupid oh, for you thinking think there is. Where find out? We can look it up in the dictionary. Yes, let Jerry and Betty don't need to. They said dictionary, not they the Gutenberg Bible. Find out who is right. Find the facts, and you can settle the dispute. Stupid dictionary keeps referring you to other words and you need definitions. In Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. See? That's where I read about it. A fabulous. Does that mean it isn't a real animal? Just a made up one? No, it means it's a flaming queen, yes. just like Harold. No, I'm not. Ah, uh, just it come out of the closet, Harold. The Everybody knows you're a queen. I want you to start thinking about choosing a representative for the playground committee. It's a useless position since the Board of Education will ignore all your input. What kinds of equipment to buy and what safety rules to make for the playground. No, they won't. Now, we must choose someone to represent our class on that committee. I think Jerry, because he can play baseball like anything. And besides, he's got a new baseball glove. So yeah. having something Jerry, new gets you nominated? I get in a new computer. Maybe I'll run for president. Oh, that doesn't matter so much. We want someone who gets along with people. So I think it should be Eddie. Eddie That's Judge Eddie. Him. He can play baseball pretty well, too. Let's put Eddie on the committee. For the love of God, would these girls shut up? How shall we choose our representative? Fight How to the death! How can this dispute be settled? Well, we know some different ways of settling disputes. Such as so a shotgun blast here. to the face. A compromise helps settle some disputes. Each person gives in a little bit, and then both can have part of what they wanted. That won't work here. But Start the fight to the death! Choose between Eddie and Jerry. They can't both be on the committee. And neither and really wants to. No, that won't help. Obey the rules. No, we want the anarchy. can be settled this way. But the only rule to follow in choosing a representative is to choose the best person for the job. By having them Who fight to the that? death. How can we decide? What about finding the facts? Surely there's some dirt on the candidates. But we need more than the facts here. We need we. Jerry knows more about games, and Eddie knows more about getting along with people. Again, that's but Judge which one Eddie. Should we choose? We need a different way to settle this problem. But the death's still an option. I have an idea, Miss Williams. We want either Jerry or Eddie to be on the committee. You tell us which one you think it should be, and he'll be the one. So now well, stop telling me your stupid that. ideas. Sometimes we do use a judge or arbiter or an umpire to give us his opinion and settle questions that way. Eddie's but a judge. Think everyone should help choose our representative. Oh, you mean an election. Let's vote for the one. Give me a day so I can fix there it. There we are. That's a good idea. I still prefer the fight to the death Alice option. Alice and Betty will count the votes in the election to find the opinion of the class. My opinion is, Often this film sucks. To find opinions to settle our disputes. Sometimes you'll want the opinion of some expert or judge. Like Judge Sometimes Eddie. Sometimes you'll want to take a vote to get the opinion of the whole group. Finding opinions is the way we settle many important questions. I told you my opinion, now get off That's my screen. we'll settle this question. Now let's see. Wendy girl's taking names of people who Jerry kick ass on later. Twelve votes. And Eddie? Fifteen votes. Eddie wins. This is not as cool so as the fight to the day off. Playground committee. And look, this dispute was settled fairly, and so Jerry and Eddie are still good friends, just as they always were. Even though Jerry will have a burning resentment to towards the class. To settle disputes. <laughs>
Well, that's not balls. No one chose the fight to the death option. Jay Park Rednecks. We don't make bad movies. We make bad movies better.